Late July 2024 saw Samsung slated to release the One UI 7.0 bed upgrade. The upgrade was delayed, however, as the business apparently opted to work on the program longer to address problems. Based on an upgrade to the Samsung Members app, it now seems like Samsung is at last ready to launch the One UI 7.0 beta program. Any One UI beta program requires the Samsung Members app for enrollment, so Samsung has updated this app. This might suggest the One UI 7.0 beta update will soon be available. With a download size of 39.30 megabytes, version 5.100.11 of the Samsung Members app is accessible on the Galaxy Store in India, South Korea, and the USA. Although Samsung has not said anything in the official change log for the new Samsung Members app, it is thought that it is a pre-1 UI 7.0 beta release update and may shortly unveil its next major edition of One UI for testing. Based on Android 15, one UI 7.0 was designed and leaked in past rumors. With fresh stock app iconography, a two-page quick panel layout, enhanced stock applications, and better animations and transitions, it seems to be a major UI redesign. Along with a new battery symbol, a pill-shaped UI for continuous activities, a new control area at the bottom of the screen, and a new charging animation, the next version could possibly include. A prior source also suggested that Samsung would update the UI design of the stock camera app for easier one-handed usability. The next upgrade might possibly feature additional widgets on the home and lock screens, a huge folder option, and a new animation for screen unlock. Also, Google has consistently developed Android for large screen devices like foldable phones and tablets. With the debut of Android 12 Leaders, the business began optimizing its applications for foldable phones and tablets. Android 15 enhances the experience of using keyboard and trackpad attachments with tablets. Thanks to DeX and first-party keyboard attachments, Samsung's high-end tablets may seem like desktop PCs. With Android 15 with One UI 7.0, you may be able to employ additional trackpad movements to get things done. According to a report from Android Authority, Google has included a new gesture called Tap Dragging, and it makes dragging and dropping objects simpler. This feature, released for tablets running Android 14 QPR3, June 2024, enables you drag and drop objects. You may touch an object and drag it with your finger. You can already accomplish this by pressing one item, maintain holding the trackpad, and then moving your finger to move stuff. However, the new tap dragging option is simpler to use. For this new functionality to operate, you need a keyboard that has a suitable trackpad that supports gestures. With Android 14, Google added three new gestures. One, three finger tap, go back. Two, three finger swipe up, go home. Three, three finger swipe up and hold, open the multitasking menu. Since Galaxy Tab devices offer superb first-party keyboard attachments with a trackpad, you may utilize the tap dragging motion to transfer files and stuff from one location to another. This signifies that Samsung now has all it needed to produce the stable version of One UI 7.0. Sadly, the South Korean a giant hasn't even chosen when it would push out the One UI 7.0 beta. Google, on the other hand, has evidently come up with a timetable for the delivery of the stable version of the OS on Pixel devices. We're thinking big for One UI 7 features, considering the increased usage of AI across the board, and notably in One UI 6.1, it's a reasonable bet that One UI 7 will continue to explore the possibilities of generative artificial intelligence and machine learning. Topping our desire is the option to run an AI model like Google Gemini or ChatGPT right on your Samsung smartphone. While this could be confined to premium phones and foldable owing to processing needs, it might improve various elements of the Samsung flagship experience. On-device AI may substantially speed up Galaxy AI experiences like generative picture editing, real-time translations, and smart typing suggestions. Plus, it adds the convenience of offline access to these capabilities and the greater privacy of keeping your data local. Next, we're repeating the rumors concerning battery health monitoring. If Android 15 adds this capability, Samsung certainly has to embrace it, 
With Samsung's dedication to extended software support cycles, evaluating battery health becomes vital for ensuring your device stays healthy and usable over the long term. Ideally, this function would give insights into the amount of charging cycles your phone has done. Alternatively, simply showing the battery health as a percent of its original capacity, as iPhones do, would be tremendously beneficial. Lastly, let's discuss personalization. One UI already gives a wealth of possibilities, but there's always space for more. How about the option to rearrange or reorganize home screen folders, or changing the default icon forms for a new aesthetic? While we're dreaming, let's toss in some dynamic, interactive widgets to spice things up. So, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech news and updates. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Thank you.